जयपुर गया कोटा कृपया ध्यान आप अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन The hat-trick of wins for Rajasthan and a hat-trick of losses for Mumbai, not the homecoming that Hardik or Mumbai were looking at. We are back at Crick Buzz Live. I am Sayumi. I have Lisa and Harsha Bogle with me. Just not what Mumbai wanted. We spoke about it, but just such a dominant win by Rajasthan. They won by six wickets. They were brilliant with the ball. One twenty-five is well, you know, doesn't give the Mumbai bowlers anything to play with. And then Riyan Parag came and played a very mature knock, getting fifty-four. Uh, Lisa Harsha, just very clinical from Rajasthan. Like you were saying, there was so much hype around Mumbai that Rajasthan just come quietly. Bowled well, batted well, fielded well. Sometimes it's good not to be too feisty and you know just slip <laughs> under a little bit. Is that is that what he's I trying to be? He's trying to be the one that's slipping under. under. <laughs> well, I was very impressed with Riyan Parag today. I mean, we saw one facet of him the other night, but when you when you want to see if a young player is maturing, then you want to see innings like these because wickets lost early. He's uh, sort of calmed things, mm. and then when it came to Going big, he had the shots as well. So I, I think he's auditioning very, very strongly for a place in the national side. It's only two innings, yes. and there's a lot of contenders there. But he's doing no harm, and I'm, I'm, I'm delighted because he's doing the difficult things well. Well, he's uh, already reached 181 runs this IPL. His record for the maximum runs in the IPL is 183. So clearly shows what his brilliant domestic form was. He's carried it on for the IPL, and more importantly, Rajasthan. Have given him faith, yes, and given him the position that he wants. So all of that years in the squad and coming and going and up and down. Um, we want you to finish. It wasn't for him. Whereas they've found a spot that's working well. And um, we spoke about it in the first innings that y you can't just be a flat track bully. And he was in his previous <laughs> games. He played brilliantly. But He's actually one, more flat track than bully. Yeah, but he actually he actually spent some time out there because it was what was it? It was forty eight for three, mm -hmm. um, and he managed to kind of go run a ball, and then he just went up the gears nicely and finished the game in style. So all of a sudden his strike rate's one hundred and thirty eight, but that doesn't quite tell you that he had to kind of fight a yes. little bit initially when he first came in, and he wasn't willing to give up his. His wicket. He wasn't willing to pick up where he left off because he knew it was a different pitch, a different situation. We'll have a look. Yeah. Sorry, you can't uh, you can't play an innings like that if you're batting first because yes. the pressure starts to yes. build on you. You're 27 of 28. What's happening to you when you're chasing? There's a target there. You're constantly looking at runs and balls, runs and balls. You're looking at that equation, and so you can give yourself time in a small chase, which you cannot do if you're batting first. But very, very impressive. And clear plan he had because, like Lisa said, the wickets were tumbling on the other end, other end. So he wanted to just come settle things in, and then he went for it in the 14th over. Then that strike rate started coming in his mind, saying it's time to go for yeah. it now. I mean, you've also seen a lot of cricket. It's amazing how often that happens. That you tend to fight, and the last 15, 20 come very, very quickly, easy. very yeah. quickly. It'll just worry Mumbai though that uh, it's the second game in a row that Kudzi has been taken for runs. They wanted him to be the middle innings spirit, someone who comes and takes wickets in the middle overs. That's so critical to any team. You have someone who takes wickets in the middle overs; he's worth his weight in gold. And that's two games now that he's he struggled playing that role. We'll have a look at the batting card because uh, there was that little bit of struggle they had when they lost those wickets. We spoke about how Josh Butler was somebody Rajasthan would have really liked him to come out with a 50-60. He he went only for 13. Yashasvi started off well in the first over. He fell at 10, and then Sanju Samson went early at 12. So there was that worry. They were 48 for three, and Mumbai was 48 for four. So it wasn't too far away. But then we spoke about how Ashwin's also played a very important role. He came like we. He spoke in the com box. Yeah. He likes being the batter. <laughs> he's, he's, they've given him a very interesting role at five. I thought if anybody, they would have put Hetmyer in at five mm. and maybe given Jurel a little bit more work. If you think you want a left-hander to finish it, maybe ask, ask Jurel, who's played so well for India now, 
ask him to bat at five, but there's some thinking there. Telling Ashwin, I mean, today he scored a runner ball, but ensured that there was a little partnership. The other day he came and hit some sixes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> young Ashwin is young Ashwin is. Hey, he's the all rounder leaf. now, hey? Yeah. He's the, he's actually yeah. an all rounder, and I he's off spinning all rounders stick mm -hmm. together. Yeah, well, we do. We actually <laughs> yeah. do. Don't fight us. <laughs> down. Um, but I, I'm really pleased for him because I, I felt like, especially in the Test arena, that there have been plenty of times where he's he's held up his end. He scored crucial runs, big runs, hundreds. So. Why can't he do it in the shortest format? So he's showing that he's that versatile when it comes to T20 cricket. And again, I think we talk about with Chennai, the players coming in, they know what their role is. I feel like Rajasthan with Jurel and Hetmeyer, they, they want them to play that role and they don't want it to change. So mm. an Ashwin coming up just gives them that breathing space to allow those guys just to keep doing what they're doing. Um, they haven't been really needed, those guys, to finish yeah. it off. Um, so Rajasthan, the, whilst things haven't quite clicked at the top, they're three from three. There you which go. Which is scary yeah. for the opposition. Three of three. It's a well, great way to start. I mean, we, ha we all had them, I think, in our short list. Mm. But I think they're showing why. They're, they're very strong contenders. And it just the jigsaw puzzle just now is fitting in perfectly because of what Riyan Parag is doing. Who would have thought in three yeah. games, Virat Kohli and Riyan Parag would be sharing the orange cap? And he's played the role from a different number. Yes. Virat's got those runs uh, from the top of the order, mm -hmm. which is something different we're saying. He's really attacking the new ball. Whereas uh, Parag is doing it from number four, mm -hmm. which is always made a little trickier because the situation is sometimes set. You could have a day when you can just go in and hit because the openers have done their role. So, I'm, uh, yeah, very impressed. I think big plus also is uh, Chahal. Yes, big, big plus. plus. So, the little things. You said jigsaw falling in place. Chahal falling in place is also big, big, big news for uh, for Royals. Also, the positive with Riyan Parag is he's finishing games for them, yeah. Lisa. So, you yeah. know, that's also something where you always want to see a batter go past uh, the finish line. He's been unbeaten now today and uh, the last game. Yeah, that, that says something about his mentality as well. He's, he's not going to um, throw this opportunity away. I think he's been given plenty of opportunities in the past, but this time he's really making it stick. And, you know, after the second game, he was very emotional. Um, so it, he's gone through a lot. And sometimes as a player, you need to go through the ebbs and flows of cricket. Learn from that. Learn from your mistakes. Realise what you need to do, the hard work, in order to get you to a position where you can start to really put the performances on the board. And he's, he's unlocked a secret at the moment and he needs to hold on to it because cricket's a funny game. The next game it could bite him in the backside but he's um, he's playing extremely well at the moment. There is one truth of all performers. How much are you doing when no one's watching? Sometimes you only want the big stage. We saw that with Khalil. Twice now he's bowled three overs for nine in the power play. He said yesterday, went back, Worked very hard on fitness. How much are you doing? No one's watching. Parag has done that. No one's watching. He's this big Instagram guy, right? No, yes. he's improved by doing things when nobody is watching. Mm -hmm. And then when the stage comes, you're ready. But also if you're playing at four, and Lisa might know that, you've had four, five most of your life. Mm -hmm. When you're batting in white ball cricket four, five, your job is to bat with five, six, seven, if the openers are gone, and take you home. That's your job when you're batting four, five. And I think that's what he's, uh, that, that's what he's done well in both games. You're talking about how he's do, doing things in silence when no one's really watching. Uh, Surya Kumar Yadav also tweeted, or I think yes. Instagram is saying that Riyan 2.0 has come to NCA. He's really putting in the hard work. And we can see it. We can see a big change in him because he's somebody who was always very flashy, but now he's letting the bat do the talking. Uh, in the post match, I think the other day he said that. His mum was there watching, so it was special because she knows the ups and downs he's yeah. gone through. You know, here at Crick Buzz, uh, Joyda made a statement which had gone viral and it just feels nice to bite our words, I feel, sometimes when a player but, comes and But you performs. know, Joy wasn't wrong. Yes. So sometimes you see what happens afterwards and you think, ah, but how did he say that? At the point at which Joy said it, he wasn't wrong. Mm. He said they're playing with six, uh, with five batters, five bowlers and Riyan Parag. Mm. And at that time, he was playing yeah, like he that. Was. He'll be the first to admit there was a bit of a show pony about him. Mm. Even in the field, yeah. he'd carry on a little yes. bit. It was like, yeah. hey, you've you got to do a little bit more than take some mm -hmm. good catches in the field. You have, your job is to score runs. Um, so he's kind of realised that. Mm -hmm. Someone's obviously gotten into his ear yeah. and said, just do the work. 
And then you can carry on when you've done great performances, not, not when you're still trying to figure it out yes. at that level. Yeah. And they've not needed him to bowl. I'd, not yet. I'd like he to see at bowl. some point, nice. because in your top four, if you've got someone who on the day can give you two overs, then it makes such a big mm. difference because some days then you can say, okay, it's, it's like India's going to have the T20 World Cup. Can you have another batter, mm -hmm. but nobody in the top four is giving you those overs? If somebody in the top four is giving you two overs, then maybe you could have considered playing an extra batter. I'd like to see him develop that side and Royals use that domestic. side. He, he was bowled bowling a lot, a lot for Assam. Yes. But I'd like to see Royals yeah. use that side of him at some point. We spoke about this in the com box as well, Harsha, that the pitch was playing a little differently, not playing like what it played in Mumbai. So it was a tough pitch to bat on. So even mm. that, we have to give credit to Rian Parag. And I think Hardik spoken about it and he said they were not expecting this kind of a pitch. So he was a little surprised with the pitch they played on. Yeah, we we kind of got an indication. Uh, I think Nat, Nat Germanos did the pitch report and she said, actually, this pitch hasn't been used even last year in IPL. So... You don't quite know because sometimes each numbered pitch is prepared slightly differently. Um, there seemed like there was a bit more grass cover on it. Um, but yeah, it was it was a surprise. Um, and also the fact that the ball swung for mm -hmm. as long as it did. Yes, we know it can, especially in Mumbai because of the humidity as well. But it just swung a little bit more than what they were expecting. We'll have a look at the bowling card now because Akash Madhwal came in and, uh, you know, he got a couple of wickets and uh, even Bumrah, the ball was moving around. So, he didn't get any wickets, but again, very economical. We spoke about how Koitse has been a little expensive, not only today, but even in the last few games. Where does Mumbai go from here? They've got to back Kudze a little bit. It'll be very tempting to look at Nuan Tushara who's this slingy bowler. Patirana is doing so well for Chennai. It'll be tempting to look at Tushara. But the message that will go out is, if you've got two bad games, oops, is my yeah. place under threat. So I'd, I'd like to see them give Kudzi another couple of games to see how he goes. And I don't know how long they want to be with Mapaka. He's playing because you, every team wants a left-hander up mm -hmm. at the top. Now, he's actually fourth choice. Because the first two choice left-handers dropped yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Then they got Luke Wood in. Luke Wood is injured. So... It, it really depends on whether the captain, the senior players on the field. Sometimes you can just look at a player on the field and be happy with what he's doing, whether he belongs over there. Mm -hmm. So otherwise, I mean, you don't have to play a left-hander. You, if your right-hander is bowling better, you play another right-hander. The one thing that I would like Mumbai to just take a look at, when Rajasthan were in the field, they had two slips. Yes. They attacked yes. straight away. Mumbai didn't. Mm. Now, when you're scoring on a well below par score, you have to take 10 wickets. Yes. You're not taking it to the 20th over and winning on last ball. Whereas they were actually starting to chase the ball a little bit. They started with first, then one, I think, Sanju Sampson yes. nicked second slip. Then they put a second slip in. This is where you need a strong leadership group to go, we've got to attack. Or from the coaches, you be as attacking as you want in the field. If we lose in 10 overs... So be it. But the only way we're winning this game is taking 10 wickets. And I, and I feel like they just missed a trick because the ball was doing a lot at the start. Um, yeah, you, and Rajasthan then just got set in, even though they lost three wickets. You know, you talked about the senior group and the leadership working together and all your years of, of playing at that level and now as, as a coach. Can you look at a side on the field and say it's the, everyone's pulling in the same direction? Is there something that you can pick up and say maybe they're not all pulling in the same direction? Are there cues? Uh, to be honest, I'd probably have to be at the ground. Yes. Because now yeah, I'm because just, here you're following what I'm are the following cameras what showing. The camera is. So if you're at the ground, you you get to pick up, and that's why as commentators we love getting there early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you see who's talking to who, who's going off in pairs, who, who's warming up together. You know, the, the little sidebar conversation actually gives you a great indication of where a team is at. So. Harsha, other, that's yeah, your job. The <laughs> other the reason Lisa. Back. <laughs> other reason Lisa goes early. Is the thing that that's sitting there on over there that that's got a wealth of information? Mm -hmm. She's sitting there, and I promise you, know, first time I saw Lisa there at the ground, I thought, "Geez, her exam or what today?" <laughs> Color coded and venture, all, it's yes. so great. Lisa, the first bencher, but uh, Lisa, I, I'm a little <laughs> confused. First, first bencher, maybe, but not attitudinally first bencher. Oh wow, it is color coded. Then what? We'll, we'll get a, a yeah. tuition on what you write some other day, Lisa, because there's a lot of information in there. <laughs> but I, I was a little confused today. We didn't see Hartik 
you know, hole. Yeah, I don't know so why. So I don't know, was it was it a niggle, <laughs> was it an injury? Because we expected him to come. He spoke about him coming to bowl mm. with the new ball and then he just didn't Could take the ball. Could it be that they thought, look, maybe the left hand will get a bit of swing up front. Then they thought, we've got Akash Madhwal in there. Let's see if he gets something. I've got Kudzir. But I thought, I was a little surprised that that uh, he didn't, but there's nothing there for Piyush Chawla anyway. Uh, he can't do anything right at the moment, yeah. can he? <laughs> and everything he does Seriously. will be analysed. Exactly. It, it's, like, it's like your thing, why, why is she writing in red? Why not in blue? Yeah. Why is that not in green? Everyone's going to ask questions about everything he does now. And it's just so unfortunate we spoke about it when things don't go your way. They just, that catch, you know, on a good day it would have just stuck and oh, it would yeah. have been one of the best catches we've seen. But when things don't go your way, then everything seems to go downhill. But we spoke about Pat Cummins and, you know, how he's one of those captains who, if there is a crisis, he'll say, I will be the one who will bowl. Yeah. Maybe that's something we would have liked to see from Hardik. Yeah. He's going on a journey, isn't he? And we, we were sp speaking about it in the green room. Is I wonder if this is the hardest phase of his cricket career. I mean, I, I don't know his upbringing and if he struggled to get in underage teams or India or, or things like that. But, you know, th this is very public. Everyone is scrutinising. Everyone's watching everything. There is literally, you know, we used to joke around the Virat Kohli cam. <laughs> I feel like there's a Hardik Pandya cam and everything, every move, every smile, every reaction, every word is being um, scrutinised. So uh, it's a testing time for him and, and boy, he will learn a lot yeah. mm -hmm. about leading a group of players, but also him as well. How much can he cope? How much is his resilience? How much is he a fighter? There's a lot of questions yeah. being um, asked about him. And I, give him time. I actually think he'll answer them pretty well. He actually, of all the players who played today, I thought he had the best game for Mumbai Indians today. He had the best attitude. Mm. Sometimes you're 40 for four. You can almost use up too many deliveries. He said, no, we need to get a 150, 160. I'll be the one taking the chances. I thought he batted beautifully today. And he batted the way India wants him to bat. Yeah. So I, I thought there were pluses. That effort in the field. Not bowling, I just hope there's nothing about his back. Yeah. Maybe it's just a tactical thing that he didn't bowl. But bowling the tough overs, he did that for Gujarat Titans, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and he started off with taking the new ball. So yeah. it just, you it's know, like game. you said, that the positive was his batting today. It's one of those days where it's very tough to pick positives. But Akash Madhwal, the way he was today, a positive for Mumbai? Hey, look, he played, what, eight games last year? Yeah. 14 wickets, one game, five for five, another game, four for, comes in has an impact straight away. Keep him in your 11. Yes. <laughs> so you've, m maybe you're finding a guy that can bowl you those overs and take wickets. I mean, 20 runs, given the fact that you didn't post a decent total economy rate of five, this is a guy that they need to be, they need to select every game now. And there's a reason, proper engineering graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Proper engineering graduate, mm, yeah. Mm. Smart man. Yeah, engineering graduate, yeah. <laughs> we got that. She, we got, we <laughs> got tried, that. Tried to go. <laughs> he tried it thrice <laughs> with you, Lisa. He tried it thrice. But she's not falling in. She's not falling no, for it. She's, you've, you've used the word spicy too much for too much. But like we said, uh, you know, Mumbai, the positives could be Hardik's batting and the way Akash Manwal bowled. Yes. For Rajasthan, everything went their way. But if we have to really nitpick, maybe just Joss Butler yeah. not coming in. They really want mm. Butler to come. I mean, when Butler's playing well, it's a different side, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. A couple of seasons ago, Butler gave them 800 runs. Ridiculous. Yeah, when he's batting well, I mean, in this side now, Jaiswal, today he had a little flashy, mm. small little knock. But Jaiswal going well, Samson going well. Uh, Parag finding himself and now to that you add Butler in form and this team could become unstoppable. A bit like Shuman Gill in form last yeah, year yeah. for the Titans. Suddenly it adds so much to the side. That is number one on their list. Mm. They're getting almost everything right. The spinners are bowling well. Nandre Berger has been a fantastic find. The only thing they need now is Butler to get more runs. Well, Rajasthan today were very uh, CSK-like and they were very cool, very composed, uh, which is why let's have a look at our carrier room air conditioner, coolest moment of the mm. match. Uh, there were quite a few with Rajasthan. Uh, we have a bunch of tweets. Uh, let's see what you'll have written in. Cricket everywhere. That's an interesting name. He says his carrier coolest moment of the match uh, was Mumbai crowd cheering Hardik's boundaries. The boost suddenly turned into applause. Typical short memory of the fans. <laughs> Lisa. Yeah. 
<laughs> enjoyed that one. <laughs> uh, watching two left arm quicks in Bolt and Burger torment the Mumbai batters in the power play is my career coolest moment of yeah. the match. It's probably the most ironic moment because that's what Mumbai wanted to do, yeah. like yeah. to do to others. Yeah. didn't happen. Arjun says, Bolt running through his previous team's batting <laughs> lineup uh, on their home ground. Carrier coolest moment of the match. The last one, let's see. Ant Sharma says, so happy for Yuzvendra Chahal, three wickets and making a strong case for the T20 World Cup. Oh. Interesting. This is an interesting point because Yuzi is just fallen off never, because of the way Aksar Kuldeep played, are doing. He's never played a T20 World Cup. Wow. Uh, For all really? that he's done, I don't think. We'll, we'll just get our producer mm -hmm. to check that as I'm speaking. I, he's never played a game in a T20 World Cup. And you're yeah. talking now, okay, Jadeja probably plays or Akshar probably plays as the all-rounder. Mm. You've got three seamers. You, you have room for one more spinner. Well, you you're have talking to, Kuldeep. You're talking Kuldeep. You're talking Ravi Bishnoi. And I think quietly, in his own yes. impish way, He's saying, but I'm still there. Yeah. yeah. No, because he is somebody who, you know, always comes with these performances at the correct time. But like you said, he's either sitting out or he doesn't make it to the World Cup. He's taking more T20 wickets than anybody else. Well, I think you also have to look at where is the T20 World Cup. And yes, America, we're not quite sure the yeah. pitches that are going to... But the West Indies, they tend to be lower, slower mm. turning pitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might want a third spinner. You want, might want to take a third spinner. Yeah. The US, I, I, I don't know. It's one of them that's making the pitches. It's yeah. Well, well not them. It's Adelaide. Aussie. But yeah, Aussie. An Aussie <laughs> guy, uh, Adelaide. Yeah, Adelaide. The guy from Adelaide is preparing yeah. the pitches. Yep. The drop-in pitches in uh, in New York. So it should be perfect. All right, but what were your coolest well, moments, she guys? She used to. She's. <laughs> Look at that, the feisty. The feisty, she's, she's being, being down feisty the road, today. Down the road I in Gavdevi. I think it's something you do because all these days we've been together, Lisa, we've not seen this side of Lisa. Yeah, the two guys. You know, in spite of, in spite the, of the leaderboard, it's, it's I, think, I think it's what you do to Lisa. Yes! yes. <laughs> Woo! What are the... Look at us, I swear. Get Girl. me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, your coolest moments. Uh, no, my coolest moment is Chahel. I, I, just, I just find everything he does on the, on, the, on the ground very cool. So my coolest moment is Chahel coming in, tossing the ball up, getting a wicket and looking happy. Sanju Samson. The catch. Rohit Sharma, catching catch. it in oh, the web. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Good call, That good just call. started the tone of the match. I think, call. Lisa, I agree with you because like you said, it just started the tone of the match. Uh, but all those of you who have written in, thank you so much. Keep writing in. This was our carrier room air conditioner, coolest moment of the match. Uh, after what we've seen today, I'd like to see what's happening in the points table mm. because uh, Rajasthan's 1-3, they've probably gone to the top of the points oh, table. Thank God you're talking about this points table. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, we'll get to the other one, the more important one. We'll get to that. But uh, not a pretty side for Mumbai at the bottom there and the net run rate again. Nah, Aisha. That'll hurt a lot. I did say in the game in Hyderabad that they did a very good job to end up mm. as close as they did to 277. But now they lost two in a row. That net run rate is going to really hurt them. And you see Rajasthan Royals right up there. They say when you're 10, when you're bottom, the only way up, the only way now is, the is up. The only way is up. Oh, correct. She says it more. But <laughs> you don't want to be there. You don't yeah. want to be there. No. But Mumbai is used to starting slow, you know. For Mumbai fans, this is something which we usually usually pacify Mumbai fans with. That, you know, you're usually starting off slow What's and the then things worst change. Start? So six loss, five, five. I think they won with five after five losses. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got one more in the back. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't go want to go that way. They wouldn't but, want to. No. No. Yeah. But no, and, and this is a team. A lot of us had had uh, had very it was easily in put into four, our top yeah. four. In my top four. My top four. How much are they missing Sky? Yeah, Sky, because the bowling so, yeah. has come together this time. Considering okay, yeah. they've put in more in and the, the bowling auction. The always board. changes depending on how many runs the batters have put on mm, the board. Yeah, But Sky, so, what, 600, 605 yeah. runs last year. Just, and he's a type of player that opposition bowlers are like, please, I don't want to bowl to him. And I'm, I'm thinking Surya comes back. Straight away, they should be looking at Tilak Varma at three. Tilak Varma at three, Surya Kumar at other four. Then you can have Hardik 5, Tim David 6, maybe another floater of a batter somewhere in there. I'm not saying just dump young Namandhir. Yes. But mm -hmm. the moment Surya Kumar Yadav comes in, he's got, to, he's got to get number 4. And I think Tilak Varma showed in the way he batted today that he's perfectly happy to bat at 3. Mm. So straight away, Tilak Varma 3, Surya Kumar Yadav 4, but opening partnerships.
We are all missing Sky and we can't uh, wait to see him back. But before that, tomorrow, we'll be watching another very exciting game because Bengaluru takes on Lucknow and this is happening at the Chinnaswamy, match number 15. Bengaluru at the Chinnaswamy, RCB was probably the first team to lose at home. We know they don't really like playing at home. But uh, Virat Kohli looks like he is here to make a statement. He made a statement to you as well, but he's looking very, very good. He's looking he, very, very good. He said that to me and suddenly everyone's wondering, who was that aimed at? <laughs> and I said, maybe it wasn't aimed at anybody. Mm. But we have we love to see who was that aimed at. <laughs> Lisa, you might have got a few tweets saying it was aimed at you. No, aimed no, at no, you, no. it was aimed at everybody. Yeah. But yeah, he's. but the thing is, he wants to show he's going to bat like that. Yes, yeah. So, I mean, Virat Kohli is never under trial. Mm. Either you think Virat Kohli makes your side or you think Virat Kohli doesn't make your side. But Virat Kohli is not under trial. You're not going to see something about Virat Kohli in this IPL that you haven't seen before. But I think he's trying to say, look, at the top of the order, this is now how I am going to bat. I don't know if there's been a word saying, Virat, we want you to bat like this. Uh. I don't know if that's happened. I'll be very honest. I don't, I'm, I don't know if that's happened. But he's, he's charging the bowlers. He's, he's taking the odd risk. Because this feels like the vintage Kohli. We're so used to seeing him go for the attack. So it's always nice to see vintage Kohli. I, I'm just one of those nostalgic people who like to see people, like, you know, what they used to play. So he's, he, he's been quite open in saying that his job as an opener is to put the bowlers straight yeah. away under yeah. pressure. That's what he's doing. And the difference between him and some of those flat track bullies I talk about is that he can shift gears down. Okay, all right, I've come out of the power play. Now, how do I get back into the innings? Mm. And then I can go back up again. That's 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 building an innings. That's 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 why he's the master of chases as well because he can assess the situation. He's going really well. He needs Faf to yes. kind of join the yeah. join with him. I would think he's 35, five, uh, three and eight. So he really the the next couple of innings he hasn't done and much in Maxwell. Them as well, yeah. Yeah. So there's Patidar, the, the Maxwell, Green. Green, the that three That was the them. big power there and those three haven't fired that much. I feel for Patidar a little bit because I wonder how close he is to people saying, okay, let's throw young Lomra mm. in because they don't even have a left hand in the top six so it might serve a second purpose. They're backing Patidar, but he needs to score runs sometime now, very soon. Let's have a look at the squad and see if uh, you all probably would want to see any changes for tomorrow, of course, our uh, Krig Pass co-anchor, uh, uh, co-expert Dinesh Karthik has been so good with the death overs. Yeah. Uh, but any changes maybe, you would like to see? Maybe you should just tell Maxwell and Green, come and spend some time in the Krig Pass studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Actually, Maxwell does do a bit of commentary back home in Australia. So uh, The only other one, if we put the, the squad list up again, is probably Alzari Joseph. He's... He's been yeah. hit a fair bit. So Why are they using top lead? Yeah, that's why I'm thinking, you know, another left out. And maybe because they've got Yash Dayal, they're thinking, okay, let's get some variety mm. in our attack. But Reese Topley is good. Um, he'll swing the ball. Um, he bowls thunderbolts. He'll go back of the length. He, he's got all of the skills. So I'd love to see Topley. And just because of the story of, you know, there are times um, – he, he was ready and getting set to be in the English side and then got injured, yeah. um, missed out on the T20 World Cup. and So, you know, I really want this guy to actually perform on the big stage. I think he, he, he's got the class to, to cause a few problems. So maybe yeah. he might come in for Joseph. There's another player there who they'd love to unleash, much like Kolkata have done with Phil Salt. And that's his partner in England, Will Jacks. Yes. Mm. He gives you overs too and he's a fearless player. The kind of player you'd love to play at the uh, at, at the Chidaswab is, hey, just go, man. We've, mm -hmm. we've, got a, we've got deep batting, just go. But how does he break into the side? Cameron Green is giving them two overs. Two and, overs and they're using him much like Mumbai wanted to use Kudzir. Mm -hmm. In the middle overs, use the two-bouncer rule. Mm. Come in and give us two, three hard into the wicket overs. So you can't look beyond Cameron Green just yet. Faf is captain. And Maxwell, when he turns it on, yeah, and, Maxwell and, and his has form in the last 12 yes. months. He's the X factor, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, his form in the last 12 months is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's just that Bangalore people say, 
can you hold on to that form from the last 12 months and deliver it here? <laughs> He's had a couple of good seasons, but uh, yeah, they won't let But Maxwell is one of those players that, you know, he has that one game that changes everything. So, he's, uh, he's always in the team. Yeah. But let's have a look at uh, Lucknow squad as well. Uh, KL Rahul came in as an impact sub. Uh, do you all think that is something which they will follow because I he's coming in after about, a long injury? They were worried about the injury. They didn't want to exacerbate the injury. Mm. They didn't want to. So, maybe he's not still 100%. But it just goes against everything we heard at the start of the tournament. He's going to keep and bat in the middle order. Yes. We don't know if Rishabh Pant's going to be ready enough to play a tournament like the World Cup. So maybe Rahul can audition for that spot along with a clutch of other keepers. But he's going back to open the betting. And I was a little worried that he didn't actually come out of field. So maybe they just thought, one game, just take it easy. We've got another couple of days uh, before the next mm -hmm. game. But he needs to come out and... I mean, he's a 50... We say this every time he comes out to bat. He's a 50 or 14 balls batter. Mm. He should be striking 140, 150. Mm. And it is a perfect stadium to come and do that because batters love coming to the Chinnaswamy. And he knows it so, so well. Yes, mm. he knows yeah. it so well. So, even for like a Quinton Dickock, for a Dev Dutt Parikal, it's just that perfect setting to come and just get things moving. Yeah, and Dev Dutt Parikal as well, local boy. Um, he'll want to be able to perform well. I'd like Stoinis a little bit higher. He needs to click. So there's a few things. So, you know, for Lucknow, whilst, whilst they've shown some highlights already, um, they're only two games in. Yes. They just mm. need to find a little bit more consistent performances from from their stars. And once they do that, then, then they're a side that have threatened and, you know, in the previous IPL editions and, and no doubt they'll threaten this year. Now, we know Luck being a little expensive a concern you feel for them? Hey, it's the IPL, it's T20 cricket. I feel like, you know, I know that the bowlers have fought back a little bit, um, but he, as as you come from one edition to the next, you kind of get found out a little bit yeah. more. So it's up to the player to keep kind of adding value. Uh, can they, have they got a different slower delivery? Can they deliver from a different point on the crease? Mm -hmm. You know, can they be a little bit smarter with their fields? They've just got to keep out thinking and maybe... Naveen, you know, has had some success in the past and maybe thinks it's just going to happen again. So he probably just needs to switch and maybe work with the bowling coach to get everything firing. Two very exciting Indian fast bowlers. Mm. Mohsin Khan and yes. Mayank Yadav. Now, Mayank Yadav is not a curiosity anymore mm. because now the moment his marks is run up, everyone's saying, OK, right, <laughs> now. So now... Now watch the speed gun. Yeah. <laughs> but now... Wow, he's gone past 150. That state is gone. Yeah. Now they're going to sit and see what he can do. Mm. Mohsin Khan is starting to bowl a little better. They've got to figure out what Puran's going to do. I still think they're batting Puran too mm. low. low. Yeah. Still batting, they're batting Puran too low. Because if you see the last game, for example, they had Padikal at three, Stoinis at four, Puran at five. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's working too well because I'd, I'd like to see Padikal opening, maybe Rahul at four and Puran at three. If that is how Rahul wants to see him playing his mm. cricket, there'll be pressure from the franchise, I'm sure, to open or from the coaches as well. But they have to find a higher slot because Puran Sorry, is hang on. You said you think the owners and that want him to open. It could be. It could be. Okay. I'm trying to think right. aloud. Okay. I'm trying to think aloud because he did say at the start he was that, gonna, that he I'm wants to bat in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. yeah. And we thought that is why they've bought Padikal. Yeah. So here's Padikal thinking, yeah, man, finally I'm going to get <laughs> yeah. to open after two years at the Royals. Uh, uh, no, you're going at three. Yeah. But... I mean, we talk about Klaassen and Sky is not playing, but the third person in that category at the moment is Nicholas Puran. Yes. And you can't have batting five, six. Why? He's hitting the ball so well and he's not a slogger. He's, he's, he's not like, I mean, I'm not undermining Russell, but he's not like Russell kind of no, player no. who just comes in and slog at the end. He's a bad. So I'd like to see him bat more. All right. So your players to watch out for then, one from each team for tomorrow. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go. has done all her homework. Quinton. Is, uh, are you looking at the players yeah. in blue or in red They're or all purple? All marked homework. Or, or, or with the free, color, are you actually or the free hand, handwriting or with the dots? <laughs> you, you must have scored a lot of games as a child. I did score whilst I was playing, actually. There you go. See? That's the answer. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to go for Quinton. Quinton de Kock. And for Bangalore. I'm going to go for an outsider, Reese Topley. He's not even in the 11. Ah, Come on, Reese. Really? Get a game. Mm. No, I want to see Mayank Yadav again. He was an exciting. I want to see Mayank Yadav yeah. again. Because At Chinnaswamy. Let's see. Let's see. 
because sometimes at Chinna Swami, the faster you bowl, the top edges will take you into the third tier. <laughs> yeah. So the faster you bowl, sometimes you can go. Mm -hmm. And if he does go in the first couple of overs, I'd like to see how he comes, comes, comes back. back. Mm. I liked what he said. He said, I don't want to be the fastest bowler in the world. I want to try and be the best. So, which is, mm. I mean, youngsters know very quickly what the right thing to say is. But I hope that's what, that's what he's thinking about. So, and yeah, from, from, me, from RCB. Ah, oh, I'm a little bit of a senti fellow. I want Yash Dayal to come and take come and do well. But if you look at a wider perspective from India, let's see, let's see Virat Kohli get 100. Virat Kohli get 100. Mm. You all have heard it, all you RCB fans. Uh, let's also quickly have a look at the points table because RCB need to win this one. They are at number 9. So this is a very important game for them. Lucknow at 6, uh, but RCB have won just one out of their three games. And they are giving Mumbai company. Mm. The two big glamour teams, Bangalore and Mumbai, down at, down at the bottom. Now they need a point. Because even though you might think there's a lot of games, but these two points, you know, you come to a situation where you say, ah, I've played six, won six, lost seven, if only I had two more points. Yeah. So that doesn't, that doesn't go away. They need that win, yeah. Uh, nobody's speaking about a particular win that happened. Yeah! I was actually going to bring it up. It's what just happened? so we... This one, she won, yeah. won the play. prediction game. Did you? Yes. <laughs> well done. Well done. See, this, See? this is what an anchor should be saying. Uh, do you want to talk about the prediction game? That other guy who sits there sometimes? <laughs> Bring out the table. <laughs> Let's see where we are. Well, it just it just the senior in the house, GK has you know, he's a master at the predict. Look at him. Just he's look dropped. at him there. He's dropped. He does he's dropped. dropped to 47. And the seniors are giving the younger people an opportunity, as right. you can see from the right hand column. Number three. Number three. And uh Well done, oh, Zaybi. Just two. Harsha, Lisa I'm beating Harsha. Oh no, for, for, forget Lisa. <laughs> But That's but, all I'm happy but about. Bhattacharya and Bogle, the two seniors in the panel, look how look how wholeheartedly giving, so they're giving. encouraging everybody else. Oh, please. <laughs> please. But Lisa has been a complete uh, team person because we've been rooting for each other. And now that I've I had this I can see that on this program as well. Yes. yes. I can see that on this program. We, we've spent there's, a lot there's of a time. Reason I'm, there's a reason I've been given this corner seat. <laughs> you, waited, you wait until we're back again for Five longer. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm influencing this one now. The curly no, no, don't, locks. don't. She's a, she's she's perfectly good at what she does. <laughs> yeah, no, she's, she's, she's making nice me as more. She is. She's making me more Aussie. I like it. Yes, she's making me more Aussie. You is that up. nice now? Yeah, she's. Is that a good thing to be now? I mean, yeah. she's she's telling me how I should give back to what Michael was, you know, sledging and peppering me with those bouncers yesterday. So she's teaching me well. Okay. She's teaching me well, but uh, Mr. Joy Bhattacharya has to teach us how to answer his questions. Yeah, true, actually. So, let's have a look at his question and see who's got the answers. I think you got the answer, Harsha, but we'll still see who let's else see has what, got what's the answer? What's the answer? What's the answer? Who's what's all the of answer? test wickets? Oh, there you have it. See, she could never have answered that question, Sayami, because she doesn't say Sachin Tendulkar. She would have answered master. The master. And the answer would have been wrong. <laughs> but you know what it is? You must get the big ones right. All these guessing games, tables, all, all that's okay. You know, that's a fun thing. You must get the big ones right. We will, we will get there. The big we'll one, learn the joy the factor. Best. You must get the big ones right. We'll, we'll, uh, thank and God can, we don't have a points table for joy factor. You don't factor. have to be, and you don't have to be too Aussie. Zero. You don't have to be too Aussie to get that right. You can just be decent, simple, normal and still Ow. get it right. <laughs> decent, simple, simple and normal. normal. That's a little backhand <laughs> comment if I've ever heard well, Let's see who's been decent, simple and normal and gotten the answer. There have been quite a few of them. <laughs> Kanishk has gotten this answer. This Kanishk, I don't, I don't remember reading your name. I'm sure you've gotten a whole Jewelers, lot of answers. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. Please keep uh, getting the correct answers quickly because we have a lot of them that answer it. But well done, Kanishk. This is because Mr. Joy Bhattacharya uh, paid Craig Buzz a lot to get his photograph out with the thumbs up. If you see now, it's a very stern looking professor when he comes. <laughs> uh, so it's, this it's is, in keeping look, look with at him. Look at him. It's in keeping with this new image of CBSE Bhattacharya. You know why CBSE, it's, it's, it's the one of the many exam patterns that's apparently the one where it's toughest to get marks. Ah, okay. Ah, so stern, Bhattacharya. But we know the CBSE topper mm -hmm. because he has all the answers. He's a CBSE topper there. I wonder if they'll use this pose for the next one. No. Would, you, would you like it? No. They've just taken no, a photo. No, I wouldn't. No. Put it up, guys. <laughs> no, no, well done, Kanishk, well done. Well done, Kanishk. And uh, thank you very much. 
for making this Monday and this very low scoring game so much fun because Feisty Lisa makes it a lot of fun because you keep chabbing her if I can say and that gets the feistiness out of Lisa so thank you for doing that. Uh, see, <laughs> you've been sprung. <laughs> Okay, so okay. I'm going to see. He's really gotten very silenced right yes, now, yeah, which, uh, well done. which is probably what has happened at Mankhede. The crowd mm -hmm. must be really silent right now. But uh, we know Mumbai fans that Mumbai will bounce back because we've seen them do this a whole bunch of times. I don't know what the whispering is. Ani hater, ami Marathi bolnar hoto. Nakki. Ani. He kasi istare kar. Tumara par Marathi ella baje. Mumbai chair or the Pune chair. Pune chair hai. But Mumbai chair fans sati. Apan jinku. Tar tumi narash no kahu. Ani ami lauker is betu. Lisa. Translation is I will see you soon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey? okay. Thank you so much for making this so much fun. I will see you soon tomorrow. I will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join us at 7 pm tomorrow. We will see you all there. Good night and goodbye. दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन